I kept raising the bar. Niggas were jealous. It was a lot of hate. So you know what I did to make them mad? I dropped the hottest song of 2018 in the battle rap community. Started to hear my ass track. They didn't open the floodgates now. It's too late for peace. Niggas wanted war cause they ain't lost enough. You better act the streets about me that body, it. Who it now? Never go to war with a man who ain't got up in the loop. If you cut it back, but you can't afford the loop. You better act the streets about me. You better act the streets about What do, man? It's your boy Battle Troop coming to you live and direct from the Battle Troop headquarters, man. Let's talk about this. I want to address the case I hate, man, and I'm going to leave this thing alone, man. I want to address where did it all come from? What was the birth of this? I already know the brother being blackballed. Most likely, Beasley Nim is not going to let him off the hook. So we will not be seeing that battle being dropped by Christmas or New Year's Eve, even though they know it's a perfect time to drop it by all the controversy that's surrounding it. But they want Geechee Gotti to be the champion. And it's falling in a plate just the way that they want it. Now, with that being said, I want to talk about where this hate stem from. Well, it first started when he became a part of Dot Mob. Dot Mob, man, when he was wrecked, side, side dude, you know what I'm saying? Side kick. Get that nigga Rex. That was he was really known for. Even though he's a battle rap, but that's what he was known for. And it actually made him popular. And it actually made Rex better too. Let me keep be honest. Seem like Rex ain't ain't really been in good since K Shine ain't really been there like that. Saying, get that nigga Rex. When he used to say that, Rex used to be on fire. That's another story though. Then we get to he end up with the uh tranny allegations. So Dot Mob was hated. He used to be Rex sidekick. Then the tranny allegation came up. It wasn't proven to be true because no accuser came forth. Just a lot of speculation. Then behind that, his quick temper, attitude, the snatching up rock, the Muffin chest, slapping Sharon, the um, verb altercation on total slaughter. So he was always looked at as being a villain. He was always looked at as being like a villain, but people tolerated him. But I'm going to tell him who hurt him the most. And it's funny how one word could change a lot of things. When he had that battle against Hitman Holler. This was the turn of the worst for Sean. Going into that battle, Sean was predicted to be the favorite for most people who knew this because of his lyrical ability. He always been a performer. He always been loud. He always been a high head. He always been aggressive in rapping. So going up against Hitman, he was predicted for the most part to be the victor in this battle. It didn't turn out that way. But when Hitman began to address 
and changed the narrative on Kayshawn when he went up against Rex and made Kayshawn look like the villain more than Rex. He said, you gave a fake fire to, a, to the hand that you to feed you? The crowd went crazy and had Kayshawn looking like he was the guy who actually was the bad guy, when in reality, that wasn't how it was. Kayshawn was the one betrayed by Dot Mob. Mook kicked Kayshawn out of Dot Mob. T Rex, uh, 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 T Rex didn't go against it. He okayed it. T Rex was the one trying to battle Shine. Shine kept denying the battle. T Rex wanted the battle. Shine didn't want the battle. We saw that on the Funk Flex interview when they were talking about it, when they both were rapping and the thing. K. Shine was mad about that because, like he said, Mook never called no shots. So why do he now get to call shots on me? Mook can't bring me in. You bought me in. So how Mook get to call shots on me and you the one bought him in? Not only that, you want to battle me. I don't want to battle you. Why do you keep trying to battle me and I turned this battle down two, three times? And he kept going to other people trying to get the battle done because he wanted the money. When Hitman went up against Shine, Hitman changed that whole narrative, turned it around. That made Shine even more, even more hated. Probably even more because now he was looked at to be a rat. Looked at to be a fake. Looked at to be a person who betrayed the own his own people who bought him in the game. And it's crazy how that happens in battle rap. I saw that happen in battle rap a few times. That a person can say something about you and the whole community can turn their back on you and have you looking foolish and you never recoup from that. You never recuperate from that. I'm just keeping it 100 with you. Shotgun Shug did that to Av. When Shotgun Shug was putting all that stuff out about Av like that, about him being a bar thief and stealing people's stuff, the day of the battle, when Av stepped on that stage, and soon Av opened his mouth, the crowd started booing him. They didn't really want to hear nothing. He had to fight. He ain't been right since. They still ain't received him yet. And he been good. They still ain't received him yet. He was at the top of his game. He was one of the most talked about. He was one of the most, most talked about at that time. The most feared at that time. Now he barely talked about. You don't really get no media exposure. Nobody really cares. Any battle he close, any battle somebody close to winning, and, uh, uh, close, uh, not close to winning. Any any battle with somebody rapping against him and they doing good, they give him the loss. He beat T Top, they gave T Top the win. He beat Geechee Gotti, they gave Geechee Gotti the win. Anybody have close and doing good, they don't even give him the win. It have to be a complete blowout in order for him to get the win. It's the same thing with K. Shine. It's the same thing with K. Shine. Now, Hitman turned that narrative tip around when K. Shine at first was the one that was um, defending himself against Dot Mop. Then Hitman changed the narrative and made K. Shine look like the victim. Made K. Shine look like the victim, and that wasn't even the case. And that's been hurting him ever since. Real talk. This your boy, Battle Truth. It ain't my judgment that's in question. It's yours. I just wanted to touch on that. The K. Shine hate because 
it's wrong to see what they doing to this boy, man. You know what I'm saying? As far as like that money being on the line and he won it fair and square. He put in all that hard work this year. He went undefeated. They 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 threw everything at him to disqualify him. They said to this dude that the people he went up against wasn't even battle rap worthy. That he didn't even have no competition. They said E Ness is trash, and that's not true. They said YK was trash. That's not true. Swept Ab Ab got uh uh swept right under the rug. Jay Mills, because of his lackluster performance, it don't count. When in reality, it's not about what Jay Mills did. It's about what K-Shine bought. His material still was crazy all three rounds. I don't care if Jay Mills came with anything that was good. He still probably would have lost that battle. And think about it. Jay Mills had one round, his first round, where he said a couple things that was okay, and that was good enough for people. Some people start saying, I think I get Jay Mills the first round. Even though he got blew out the first round, they still wanted to make it seem as if Jay Mills probably got that first round because he was half decent. And anytime you have decent, that's enough to beat somebody that's great who people don't like. That's real talk. And that's what they did to that man. They blackballed that brother. And I spoke up for him and defended him because K-Shine don't have a platform. I do. I don't mind people trying to challenge me because I could defend what I say. And it ain't been one person that argued that, that battle with me, won that argument. Won that argument. You're going to lose. That's why I moved to URL to release the battle. Release the battle so the majority of the battle rap community can see. And everybody going to know he died. See, because what happens is, out of respect for the leagues who make money off the pay-per-views, when the battle first out, we really can't give out bars like that. Out of respect. We can do whatever we want. But we don't do it as bloggers out of respect for the leagues. Like, I'm going to give you an example. When I first came to the game, I did that before. I gave out all the lyrics and everything. I didn't know. I was I was premature to the game. I didn't know the uh, ins and outs of this or how this stuff go. I didn't know. And um, I was on the phone with ARP one day, and we were talking. He was letting me know how he, he liked my stuff and what I do. And he knew I was new and didn't really know much. Because I wasn't, everybody know I wasn't trying to be a blogger. He knew my story and everything. And he told me, like, you know, on the business part, when the battles is on pay-per-view, don't, like, give out the stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because we still be making money, big. I, I didn't know that. So we don't give out lyrics and things like that because it takes away from the battles if they not out. And that's why I wanted URL to release the battle. Because if they release the battle, we get to do the bar for bar breakdown, word for word. You get to see it with your own eyes. Then the people who who a lot because see, the, the majority of the entire battle rap community, they don't even be in comments like that. They may drop a they the most of the major the majority of all the battle rap fan base. Let me tell you something. The majority of all the battle rap fan base. When smacking them drop their battles, they comment on the battles. They don't be in these, these groups like the same people be in these groups. Like you can go to anybody live feed. The same people are in them comments. The same people is in there. When you drop in the battles, it's entirely different. Majority of the whole battle rap community in there. Especially when you got uh especially when you got um one of these one of these fire battles like this. And that's why I said it's time for you. They URL might as well capitalize off it. But I would them, I would have dropped that battle yesterday. I dropped it today because it's hot off the press. It's a lot of controversy. Sort of like where Oxymoron and Disaster went. You got to drop that right away. After the pay per view is over, one or two days go by, you drop that right away. When it's controversial like this, you drop it right away. Just like um, the URL did 
with the surfing, uh, 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 with the surfing, um, with the Arsenal and, uh, Arsenal and New Jersey twerk battle. When surfing Joe Budden you know, went live and did that, did that, um, went live and did that and put it on, on there and all that controversy hit because the twerk joining NWX and things like that, what happened was they had to release that battle. They had to release that battle and capitalize off the attention they were getting and also to cover up for them putting it on Instagram. So that they can get the views for it. Did the same thing. They should drop that K Shine Geechee. It's for the champion of the year. There's a lot of controversy surrounding it. Let the people see. Let the bloggers do the bar for bar breakdown. You don't see Geechee got he lost that battle fair and square, clearly. That's why I don't like them bloggers who be who who, who purposely do that. Cause they want the friendships and interviews. Hating on this dude because he don't be doing interviews and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Then Cat try to say, oh, you, let me tell you something. I don't even think the dude even liked me. You know what I'm saying? He mad because I told him some real stuff, and I don't care. I really don't care. And I don't take back nothing I said. If I believe I was wrong, I would apologize, but I'm not wrong because I stand for truth regardless to who it is. And if it means that, well, I didn't know him anyway, so I didn't lose a damn thing. You know what I'm saying? But I still ain't going to sit back and let this man get blackballed like that. I spoke up for Rome DMV when, when, when uh, Caps disrespected grandparents who, 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 who were dead. I spoke up for the URL when, when uh, some of us bloggers were talking about the John John Hollow situation. I spoke up for Rex when people uh, <coughs> uh, lied on him about the T-Top battle and Tried to make it seem like he lost. I spoke up for Young Ill in the Hollow the Don situation. I spoke up for Calico with the Loaded Luck situation. I spoke up for Verb when people were trying to play him on his thing during the Murder Mook situation. I spoke up for I spoke up for so many things, man. You know what I'm saying? It ain't just that. You know what I'm saying? I spoke up for a lot of things, man, and that's what it is. I don't try to be selective. I don't try to be selective. But when I see what happened, and they changed all the rules on them, Jay Black and them and the URL them clearly let that be known that the Geechee Gotti and K-Shine battle was the battle for champion of the year. Then when he lost, they tried to give it to the fan base. They tried to give it to the fan base because every professional, every professional who really know this stuff like they say they do, no Geechee Gotti lost. But what they did was turn it over to the people because the fan, his fan base was was is bigger. He's more liked than received. And um 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 he's more liked than received. And they know K Shine is a villain. So then they, they changed the rules. They changed the rules. That's why I called Black out on that. You bogus, fam. You on record clearly saying this. Now you're like, oh, it's more to it. No, it ain't more to it. If that's the case, they shouldn't even battle. You should have just left it up to the so-called fans and people. But the professionals knew. This was purposely taken out of the hands from the fans so that the professionals who really know the truth. That's why I said these brothers, these brothers is uh uh these brothers are disqualified from judging battles, man. If you if you a big media platform, I'm gonna say this again. I don't care who you is. I don't care if you Black Compass. I don't care if you Vada Fly. I don't care if you J Black. I don't care if you Three Letter Man Angry Fan. If you can't get on the track, if you can't write, if you can't fit, I think you disqualified for judging battles, period. When you got a platform that can influence people because if, it's a difference than hearing, hearing battle rap and knowing battle rap. And what I mean by knowing battle rap, I don't mean like what year the King of the Die start. That ain't knowing battle rap. That's just that's just something that you know. I'm talking about really knowing where you can grab this pen and pad, get down, and you 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 very knowledgeable of what bars and lyrics and what it takes to structure uh structure around. If you can't do that, you can't judge battles, man. Cause ain't no way anybody who know lyrics. Can say Geechee Gotti won this battle in any round. There's no round you can give him. You can't give him the second. He flopped and stumbled like three, four different times. They leave that out. 
You can't give them the first. It was a complete blowout on the first. You can't even give them the second. I mean, the third. He was, look, he was good. And it was okay for what Geechee does. No different than what he done in any other battle. The writing was entirely, it's level to that, man. Kayshawn was on a whole nother level, period. And, 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 and y'all just trying to blackball this dude, man. And they using everything personal to go against this man. All these personal, I, look, I seen people hate it on, but this is ridiculous how they hating on this dude. That is ridiculous. I'm talking about, he wasn't saying he blood, now he a blood. This is what people saying. Oh, 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 oh. New Jersey twerk could have wrote those rounds. But he didn't. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, he had his entourage behind him. What? He, really? What happened in the battle? Oh, oh that sounds like New Jersey twerk. Everybody sounds like somebody at one, uh, 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 in one degree or another for the most part. Especially when they was hit. Look, look. You have battle rap there. It's a wave. It's an influence. You get what I'm saying? It's not twerk style. If you're going to get technical and personal, it's not twerk style. If that's what you're going to say, it's not even his style. Let's be honest. He on record showing and admitting that this was Prayer's Mafia stuff. It's a whole hour-long blog on it. Then not only that, if we going to go by how people sound, this disqualifies half the battle rap. Half of the battle rap or even more. You got clones of clones. Let's just be realistically. That's fake. You got to come up with something better than that. But it's, if it ain't one thing, it's another. But they all personal shots against him. It's all personal shots against him. He been rapping the same way all year. It ain't been no problem till he get up to Geechee Gotti. Same way he rapped in the Geechee Gotti battle. He rapped in the Ab battle. J. Mills battle. Enes battle, YK battle. But it's a problem when it gets you got he now and it's all over and he get killed and it's on the line. Now they got to pull out all these other things. Come on, man. Oh, he was gassing. He wasn't gassing that dude like that because everything he's saying was hidden. Where are these battle rappers at? Why these battle rappers ain't speaking out about this? Why they, why they not really saying much about this, man? These dudes... These people fake, man. It is what it is. I just wanted to touch on that, man. They just hating and blackballing on this dude. It's no big deal, man. Well, it is a big deal, man, because wrong is wrong. And like I said, I'm very disappointed in, in a lot of these fake people. Let me tell you something. This battle rap community corny anyway to some degree. It's a lot of dudes in here. This is what they do. These, these dudes act like straight-up females. Straight up females. I'm talking about, I just never really seen it like that, man. I never really seen it like that. These dudes act like straight up females, man. It's your boy, Battle Truth. It ain't my judgment that's in question. It's yours. Subscribe to Battle Truth. I kept raising the bar. Niggas were jealous. It was a lot of hate. So you know what I did to make them mad? I dropped the hottest song of 2018 in the battle rap community. Started to hear my ass track. They didn't open the floodgates now. It's too late for peace. Niggas wanted war cause they ain't lost enough. You better act the streets about it. Who know the war? Never go to war with a man who ain't got nothing to lose. When you cut it back, but you can't afford to lose. You better act the streets about it. You better act the streets about it.